guys, welcome back. So, I figured this episode we'd just get started into the killing of the bosses. So, this is going to destroy the obsidian for sure. Oh, I should probably grab out my bloodstones. And it hurt a little. Oh, shoot. I did nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't use that. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Just with a star straight away. Um, there's our soul sand. Um, yeah. So let's do that again. Let's see if we can one shot it with my baby crossbow. Uh, I pushed him towards the back of the wall. I figured we'd get the news. Wow. Really? Yeah, so the wither has learned more about me. Oh no. So most of the obsidian didn't go. I couldn't I can't destroy this without an axe. I didn't know that. Um I didn't have one in my bag because it's back at the base. Um making uh, 10 to 10 crops. So, yeah, I thought, let's grab, let's put some nether stars, well, get some nether stars in the nether for once. I haven't seen people do that in a while. So, yeah, um, that's the result. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. I figured the first thing we should do, since it's the thing that we were doing for it anyway so this is going to use an <laughs> I just figured some halo music would do well why did that quest not update okay no it did so now we need to get the temperio and we should probably work on these nether star seeds. Um, probably off camera though, because apparently those are tedious. So let's try this. Let's try this. Hurry up. Yes. Oh, that was screwed. <laughs> okay. So that should be enough. Temperio. We could use that to make the ultimate furnace. Uh, Temperio essence block. Demon Steel of the First Magnitude. Or we could get into some more of these magical crops. <sighs> um, diamond, Emerald, Wither Skull, Manulin, Terra Steel, that's what we're going to do. Vibrant. And Draconium. So we can do Draconium. We can do Vibrant. We can do Terra Steel. I don't know about manual. I mean, we could try. Those require skeleton seeds. I didn't even see that. Uh, we could do uh, bleh, that. Um, we could do this as well. And we could do this. Except for the fact that we don't have the dense versions. But, if you didn't see it before, I have started to fix it. 
<laughs> so, this is going to be our setup. So, I have never used Pneumatocraft before, so I've been doing a little bit of research. Um, so we need this pressure chamber wall, and that makes a 3x3 three three pressure chamber. I think you can make it bigger, but yeah, this is the size I chose because it's really all you need. Oh, um, my finger just randomly started hurting. Um, so yeah, this is, okay, so this is an air compressor. Basically, this uses, like, furnace burnable fuel, I think cold is just the one that we're going to use, and that creates pressure, and that'll go into here, and usually, if you had an interface, you would release all of the pressure when you open the interface, or at least most of the pressure, but we have this. So that's a translocation pedestal. And yeah, <laughs> basically that can warp in items as well. And then either we can use our handy dandy magnet or we could grab an advanced item collector and use an item filter to um, get out only the items we want. So yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah, what, what ore do we have, ore? None over here. <laughs> They're all over here. Okay, so, for this, we need, how, how many? We need four of them, so we need 20. Oh, that's 21. So I'm just gonna do like all of them. Yeah, so once I've gotten all of these, I'll, I'll be back. Oh my god, it is so slow. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, my inventory is full. And we're waiting on this. So, from, from what I can see, it looks like one bar of pressure, uh, like from the looks of it, two-thirds of a bar of pressure, or three-quarters of a bar of pressure, per charcoal, so I can chuck... No, I don't really want to chuck another one in there. Um, so, yeah. I was wanting to show you guys something else that we're going to need to do. So, here's an emerald. Well, this is an offering altar, for, first of all. There's some obsidian, and there's a diamond. We particles. Particles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. More particles. So this is a Gaian gem, so this is used to make a staff of Gaian. So, yeah. Obviously, we're going to need to go to the Aether too. And, yeah, get some Skyroot. Skyroot log. And, yeah, just convert it into that so that we can, you know, make those staves, staves, staves. So, yeah, this only needs two bars of pressure that I, I think. So, we're not quite there yet, but 
Actually, let's just check. No, no, not sulfur. I thought sulfur was one, but... So this one needs three. So there goes that theory. That one needs the three as well. Okay, well, while I wait for this, I will be back. Alright guys, I've cleaned up my inventory a little, except for the charcoal, and we're about to get some popcorn action up in here. See, look, popcorn. Okay, that looks like it's all done. So, bing. Why do we have five of that one? Because uh, I'm not smart, that's why. Wait, what? Smelting it gets you three. What? That's stupid. Uh, I actually don't have these seeds. The Pender and Night of Water. Okay, that's easy. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to look at what other things we need. Uh, oh, why did I jump on that? <laughs> oh, I, I, I haven't shown you the things around the base yet. Whoa, I was meant to teleport to panel but that works anyway so obviously this is still doing its thing I well that's weird um, oh yeah so I changed this so that it's inserting on the green channel and I think this one is extracting on the green and this one's extracting on the green so these two are always generating power Obviously, it's turned all of them on so far. That's why we're out of LPG. Um, I honestly don't know what's going on. So. <sighs> it's hard to tell what channel these are on because them. That'll be why. Far out. So, yeah. <laughs> blunder, blunder, blunder. So, yeah, this is going pretty good. In fact, I needed to put another couple of um, upgrades on those two. So, yeah, we're still nowhere near full, so that's always good. Um, so, I was having trouble with using the, um, the Tesseract to transport items. So, yeah, I just used the um, Ender Chest, and for those who are wondering why it's black, 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 it's because... I used black wool, and that's all. That's the only reason. Now, um, I've still got a lot of expanding to do because we are nowhere near close to having all of this done. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to get a lot of facades and run them like everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> um, I've got them... Oh, they've already... They've already finished this? Sheesh. That was pretty quick. Um, so, yeah. 10, 10, 10 for these guys. So, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be done already. Um, let's just chuck 
drop sticks in here so that it can do that and grab some more from over here. Actually, seeing as it's like one lot, I think only like a 48 will do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started wow. with making some more of these um, actually let's check what pressure it's at. Oh, nothing. One, two, Three, let's go four. That should bring it up to probably four, if not just a little bit below. Um, so yeah, now we have 10 to 10 for all the crops that we had, and my bag is in here, because I accidentally dropped it in here. So yeah, these are all the crops that I'm yet to plant. I'm only going to um, plant nine of each, obviously, but yeah. Um, so I've got a few to make, a few magic crops to make, and I've got to expand a whole bunch, and yeah, I think I will cut that because I know you guys probably won't want to watch that. So yeah. I will be back. Hey guys, welcome back. So, new day, and yeah, new stuff. So first of all, I should probably show you what I've done with our plants. So, expansion was in order. So, expansion is exactly what I did. A whole bunch. We've still got like eight, nine empty crops here. And yeah. I think I went a little bit overkill with this and this. This is steel, so we've got one harvester harvesting all of this. And that's going into a compactor, compacting it into steel blocks but we're getting like a block a second, if that, it's ridiculous. With this, it's just going straight into the system. We could be making Venetia blocks, but we're not. Uh, I... That's weird. Uh, um, this one is gonna be for nether star seeds once we get into that. So, so yeah, nether star. I didn't even realize you could do that. Um, so yeah, we can make it with nether star essence. So we need nether star seed, and it can be any soil, just like that, but it needs awakened draconium below it. So how to make awakened draconium? It doesn't say, because you need a ritual from the book. So yeah. Oh, so. Yeah, so I said what I was going to do, but now we're going to do something different. So, as you can see, I've got some netherrack here, and I've also got a thermopneumatic processing plant and a plastic mixer. So this will produce plastic for us, and it's just occurred to me that I don't actually have the LPG um, thing, the ender tank, but yeah, so basically a sneak for info, and it says a therm thermo a thermo pneumatic processing plant is used to process liquids in other liquids, process liquids in other liquids, okay, uh, LPG and coal together in this machine can produce liquid plastic, so that's what we're going to be using it for, it has other uses, like we could turn our gasoline into LPG, or kerosene into gasoline or stuff like that but yeah so this is what we're working on so we're working on the epsilon page so that we can get to I think it's one of these two and then we can start on the galactocraft stuff 
and yeah, I really want to work on that so that we can get our ME system up and running because to get an ME controller we need two concentrated cloud seed buckets, but we need these osmium crystals. And I think this is what we need for here. So yeah, this is so if you no, uh, what what am I thinking? Okay, what's going on? It's one of these machines that requires. So wait, what's what are these used for? So that's yeah, inscriber. We need an inscriber. Do we need an inscriber though? Do we? Anywho, um, <laughs> so I've got a flint and steel here. This machine, this demo pneumatic thingamajigger, whatever it is, it requires heat to do anything. So it's guts the heat. This machine requires or produces heat. What? Okay. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to this machine. Think of a vortex tube fast, but requires power. Okay. But also, lava slow, torches very slow. To cool down the machine, remove the heat source. Or, yeah. So, for producing plastic, it needs 150 degrees Celsius, I believe. And we've just cracked that, so that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, all I need to do is give this thing um, coal and LPG, and yeah, then we'll be good to go. I'm gonna set that up, and then I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I have added this little part in. I've also added a bedrock in drum filled with a liquid plastic so yeah now we've got a system that's automatically generating liquid plastic and it's going into here obviously this, this is going to need to be upgraded I've got like 26 times um, the base stack limit and the base stack limit is what I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do, how to do math, but I know that it can hold 20, well, 2,400, or two, oh my god, 2,048. <laughs> okay, so, the reason that you need all of these dyes is so that you can get different coloured plastics. So, for our heat generator, I believe we need, no, it's not for this, it's for our first quest down this line. It requires a reinforced machine frame, black plastic, and steel ingot. So yeah, like I said, the liquid plastic goes into the um, plastic mixer. I could have made this a lot more compact. Hmm. I could have had the liquid plastic, or the plastic mixer, like where the bedrock M drum is, and had the bedrock M drum like on top of it and then had it on in out always active uh, anywho oh my god we already have 169 buckets sheesh that's ridiculous so yeah we need black plastic and we need a few black plastics because we're gonna need a few machine casing so yeah that's if we ever do need plastic this is gonna be a good setup for it. So, um, yes, so steel casing. We need reinforced machine frame, which we don't have any of. Awesome. Um, signalum. Let's grab some signalum and do a little pop a rooney over, right over to panel. don't understand how annoying it was making all of those um, speakers <laughs> I had 
so many buckets that I needed to make. That's ridiculous. Okay, oh, what? Okay, let's just go with it. Okay, so what else do I need for the reinforced machine frame? Need a hardened machine frame, that's already in there. And four shiny and a pulsating crystal. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, so four shiny. <coughs> Let's grab another pulsating crystal. I knew that we had one in the system, I just was too lazy to check. Yes, yeah, so I have one hardened made. So obviously we're not gonna be able to make it yet. <laughs> okay, so um yeah, I am going to upgrade that asse assembly, assembler system. I'm going to move that all the way into the last millennium and I'm going to get a whole bunch more lasers because one is only doing like 40 RF a tick. That is way too slow, especially for stuff like emerald chipsets. What, 3,600,000 RF? Yeah. That's not very good. So, yeah, um, so first we need a metallurgic infuser, three metallurgic infusers, I'm going to make four, because screw the system. No, that's two L's. Metallurgic. So we need steel casings, we need transistors, so we need redstone alloy and compressed iron ingot with cyan. So we need let's just make twenty. Um redstone alloy. How do I make this one again? Uh that's right. Crusher, we don't have the crusher. Yeah, we can't even make the crusher. Ugh. Huh. All right. Um. Yeah, so I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. You have no idea how long it took to get this system up and running. And I have still got more um, things to do. Oh, actually, let me show you this. So, as you can see, I have got an ender tank here. Zephyrian erothium from this cow. I just killed that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so smart, far out. Mm. Oh, not going to be collecting any more Zavira and Arithium for a while. Oh my god. So yeah, that is coming over here. Um, it's coming over here into this orange, orange, orange. Before I screw anything else up, I should probably not touch it. Um, so yeah, it's on the orange, orange, orange channel, and that's coming straight into this tr um, fluid transposer. Uh, so that's all our Zephyrian erothium. So, for those who don't know, so, at Draconic Evolution, so, yeah, to make the Draconia, where is it? Oh, this Draconic Core, you need Glowing Mangalo. So, that's what, you need five buckets of um, Zephyrian Erothium into a Mangaloy Inga. And 
yeah, so eight steel plus one rich slag makes one mangaloy. Rich slag, the way that I'm going to do it is with, where is it? Oh, there was one there, but that isn't all I want. There, no. That'll do. Uh, sand plus gold. So that gives us a 20% chance at rich, at rich slag, and if you looked in the system, or if you just looked here. Um, it's not here. <laughs> it's here. Yeah, we have a full barrel. Oops, draw. Draw, not barrel. Full draw of gold ore. Because of the, um... Um, what should I call it? Oh, doesn't matter. Because of the crops. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, this hasn't been doing anything for a while. I should change that. Um, so, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was probably a bit shorter, maybe a bit longer. I have no idea. Look at how, the, how it changes depending on how you're looking at it. Because it just depends on where your head is. Oh look, you can't even see it. Ah. Yeah, it tries to... Oh, apparently not. Anywho, uh, yeah, it's nice talking to you guys today. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Comment on the like, yeah. Like on the comment. Um, subscribe if you want to. Probably won't, because I'm a sad, depressed little squish. Um, anywho, have a good day, guys.